Hey everyone, it's Brick Waffle again, and we are back on the Let's Build Ruins mini series. You can see that we've got some stuff from episodes one and two right here around us. Let's go ahead and go back into first person mode so we can see what's going on. Uh, we built already a little house with a tiny bit of a garden farm kind of thing over here. We've got a little mushroom island with some random clay blocks. Prismarine chunk that washed up from an ocean monument. We've got a mine shaft entrance that might generate in our world for us. And of course, our graveyard and a nether portal. See, there's some neat little features that I think are going to work. Uh, I think they look pretty good so far, and I wanted to take a suggestion that I got off of the first video, and uh, that is to build a farmhouse that looks like it was destroyed by fire or ruined by some kind of creature. So that's going to be another fairly large-ish one. It might take up the whole episode, but we'll see how things go. Um, yeah, I think this has a lot of good potential, and we'll see if I can pull this off. Let's go ahead and start by building a big platform here, and just like before, I'm going to go ahead and lay this thing out, and I will be right back when I think I have enough room. All right, there we go. We've got a nice big platform. You can see compared to the uh, the little graveyard over there, it's a little, uh, well, it's about the same length, but it's a, quite a bit wider than that. And we are going to use some materials similar to what we did for this little house over here. Uh, but one thing we're going to try is we're going to use some gray, uh, some gray, some red stained clay. And we're going to try to build a barn. And let's see if we can start out. Maybe let's go in by two and just come over this way. So what I want to do is build a barn structure out of red because you see all those red barns all over the place um, out in the Midwest of America. And I think these are going to look pretty good. So let's try this again. Come back over here. Kind of the classic big arched saddle roof barn type of thing. Um, and actually we're going to need the walls to be a little bit wider than that. And um, I know we're going to have to do some detailing, but let's just start out by go ahead, going ahead and using some red clay all the way up. Um, how, how tall should we make this thing? It needs to be pretty tall. And it needs to be at least three on the outside. And then maybe we'll go up by one here, and maybe one in here, and like that. I think mm, that's still looking a little smallish. Let's try that. How's that looking? Better. Okay, so we're going to bring that all the way up and around like that. And again, this isn't meant to be a huge structure. Um, this is probably going to be the biggest one I do. I don't want them to be enormous buildings all over the landscape. Um, but since this one's going to be ruined anyway, I think that's all right. And what we can do is, uh, if you're building these in vanilla, of course, you can just put in one or two of these. If you're doing this with a mod pack, like the Ruins mod I linked in the first video, um, then you can just control how frequently these spawn, and that won't be a big deal. All right, so let's see. That comes across here like that. Oops, no, that's not right. It goes right up to the front, of course. And then up here. And then we probably just need to come across the top. So one thing we're going to have to do is obviously replace some of this with white uh, so that it looks a little bit better. Just one big red building isn't going to look very good, but that gives us the shape we can start with. All right, so now we need some white framing. We could use white wool. That's going to look pretty good in my texture pack. Um, quartz might be a little bit silly. Uh, I hate to use that much blocks or that many blocks of quartz. I think the white stained clay might look a little bad though because it looks kind of human flesh colored. It looks better against the pink here. Um, let's see what it would look like if we do this all up here. Hmm. Not so sure about that. And I think we're gonna need. To, I think we're gonna have to do quartz actually because I think we're gonna need some stairs. So let's see how we can do this. And you know, honestly, quartz is nice, but. Um, it's not the best thing in the world. You can you can get quartz other ways. That should be all right if we do that. And again, um, you can control how often these show up in your world. If you're building them in vanilla or if you're doing them in, uh, in the mod pack, you can control that as well. So if you don't like how much quartz I'm using, use a different material if you're following along. If you have any suggestions, let me know. What I want to do, though, is I want it to look good with a pretty much vanilla texture pack. I know I'm using a slightly modified Faithful 32. Um, but I'm conscious that I do want this to look good in no matter what you use. Uh, that's going to look uh, not great. Let's try this and see how that goes. You know, I really don't like building this kind of um, archway here with so few blocks, but I think that's going to have to do it. I think that's just going to be what we go with for now. So there's that and that. Okay, and then what we want to do, we could use some quartz blocks up here, but we could also get away with not doing that. We could use a few on the sides, although I think we're going to want to not do that either. I think that's just going to be enough quartz to indicate this is a barn. And then we're going to go for the rest of this with some, uh, let's see, what, can, what else can we use here? We can't use slabs of clay or stairs of clay. Um, what other stairs do we have? We could do spruce wood. Let's do some dark oak stairs. I think that's going to look all right. 
Yeah, that's going to look pretty good. So we're going to build this whole thing just like we did in the previous one, and then we're going to ruin it a little bit. I think that'll be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. So yeah, I think yeah, this is going to be good. I like this already. What do you guys think? I apologize for my very loud mouse. I still need to find a good quiet mouse. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, that's looking pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Again, that is the point. We're not trying to make masterpieces here. We're just going to make something that somebody might have built fairly quickly, uh, who apparently had access to a mesa and a lot of courts, uh, and then left and abandoned over time. So, yeah, I think that'll work. So let's get some slabs here. Uh, we want to get some dark oak slabs right across here. Should we bring that out with quartz? Yeah, that's going to look strange if I don't. Let's get some quartz slabs as well. Nope, not qu quartz. Quartz. There it is. That one and that one. And we'll do the same on this side as well. Let's just bring this all the way across. And that one. Okay, good. So now we've got this all laid out. Again, meh. Not real thrilled with that. What I really would like to do is actually kind of fill these in a little bit more. Um, but then I've got to do something with the red in here too. That's starting to get a little too much. I think it's just gonna, we're gonna call that good. It's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. If you don't like it, you can change that in your version of this. I think that'll be all right too. So we do need to have a couple of windows here. We're gonna have those up in the front, maybe like this. And we're gonna leave the back for kind of storage area. And we're gonna cut through the same side over here. And then what we wanna do is put on some trap doors probably. So we can have some window shutters on the outside. Uh, so let's do that. Oops. And that. Oops, like that. There we go. Whoop. There we go. And we'll do the same thing over here. And we probably do want some quartz right in the middle. See how this looks. Does that look okay? No, I don't like that with the window there like that at all. And that's more quartz that we don't need. So let's leave that alone for now. Uh, we are going to want some fence posts. I think those are going to help us decorate this up. So we're going to put some up here. Are we going to do that? No, we're not going to do that. Um, that's going to be a little narrow. We wouldn't actually be able to use the barn. I think we're going to just leave them that way. And then in here, we're actually going to use these instead of windows. Yeah, that'll work all right. Yep, that's going to be just fine. Uh, again, we're going to ruin the structure a little bit anyway, so it doesn't have to be great. Let's get some slabs in here. Hmm, what should we use? Oak wood? Spruce wood? More dark oak? I think we should just use oak wood. That, that should be all right. And we want to put these so that they are at the top of this block, so that we can put a little hayloft up here. That's going to be fine. And then we need some ladders. Let's put some ladders in um, back here, maybe. That's going to be good. Great. Uh, ooh, no, not great, because you can't get up there. All right, let's do this right at the very back over here, then. We can get up this way. Yeah, perfect. All right. And now let's get some hay bales, because that's what you usually see in a barn, right? So we're going to put some back here. Uh, let's do one sideways, another one facing that way. We'll do a couple over here as well. That looks pretty decent. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so then we want uh, probably a lamp of some kind, and I think sometimes you see those hanging lamps in a barn. So let's see about this, and then let's just put a lever on that. Uh, let's see, a lever down here is going to be right in our face. But that's all right. Somebody could turn this light on and off in the barn. That's probably good. And then let's get some more trap doors here and just cover this up a little bit. Oop. There we go. Perfect. So we got a nice little hanging lantern there. And then we just probably need to do a little bit inside. Uh, not too much because, again, we're about to blow it up. Uh, so let's see. What would we have inside here? Probably some logs. Some logs would be good. Where are my logs? Here's uh, spruce wood. Let's do, actually, let's do that out. Let's do that outside, maybe. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some logs out here. Uh, so we're going to come this way. One, two, three. And then we're going to do that again. One, two, three. And then back here. One, two, three. And then over here. One, two, three. Nicely done. Okay, so that's going to be a big old pile of lumber. And we're going to use the rails as lumber ties. So I think you guys have probably seen this trick before. There we go. Just like that. Looks like it's tied lumber. Hopefully that works out. Okay, I'm liking that so far. Um, 
And then, what else, do, what else do we need to do in here? Not a whole lot, actually. I'm going to put a couple of things like tripwire hooks. And let's just hang a couple of things in here. We want a place to hang our tools, so we're going to have a couple of those. And let's go ahead and put a crafting bench out here. Oops, crafting. There it is. Back in the corner. That's got some tools on it. And maybe we have a chest in here as well. Oops, chest. There we go. Let's throw that on the ground. And then when we're done throwing that around, let's put a chest right there. And probably this is, if it's a farm, let's put a, no, let's go ahead and let's upgrade. Let's put an iron hoe in here. That's not terribly effective loot, but iron hoe and a bucket. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, this guy had not that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds, nine seeds. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nine seeds in here as well. Perfect. So there we go. We've got a lit up little area. We've got some loot. Now we just have to do a little bit of farming on the outside. And uh, we've already done something similar over here with the raised platform. And again, uh, I could do this, but remember, if I break the ground here, that's going to be part of the base plate. I don't really want to do that. So what we're going to do is a kind of uh, raised bed garden with some oak wood logs. So we're going to come right out over here, I think. Yep, I think that's going to work just fine. We're going to put a couple of them face up. And then over here, maybe. Let's see, is that going to be an odd number? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Yeah, whoop, that way. And come over here. Yep, I'm going to like that a lot. Uh, let's see, let's get some dirt in here as well. Okay, and let's get a bucket of water. And all those tools I just threw inside would have been great right now, huh? Okay, so we're going to get our hoe, and we're going to till up some of this ground. Kind of randomly here, because again, this is all going to get ruined over time. Let's not make that look... Hmm, that's almost too regular. I think that'll be alright. And out here, let's just have some wild potatoes. And some wild carrots. That's gonna be that's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna have some carrots over here. That little section is carrots. This section over here used to be potatoes. And that's all we're gonna do with it. We're gonna leave that alone. Okay, so we've got the little raised garden. That's looking pretty fine. That's we got some lumber back there. We've got this. It's gonna generate out in the world wherever it can find space. And then, do we need anything back here? Or are we going to leave that alone? We could just leave it alone. We don't have to have anything. All right, so this is simple enough. It doesn't have to be fantastic. Remember, this is just supposed to be stuff that you find randomly in the world. And I thought about maybe just throwing some TNT in here and seeing what happened. I might do that up here at the very top. And see about, uh, maybe let's take that block out and throw some TNT in there. And let's get some flint and steel and see what happens. What we don't want to do is scatter TNT into our other designs over here. Okay, all right, that's that's decent. Don't mind that. Ooh, I don't like the uh, unsupported uh, lantern up there that we're going to have to do a little touch-up from the explosion. Oops, not that one. There we go. A little touch-up from the explosions here and there. Um, and let's do... Oh, you know what might be neat? Rather than TNT, what if a meteor hit this building? So it came straight in through here, and then like right in through here, and ended up kind of in the middle of this guy's barn. What do you think? Do one like that, take take one like this out, that out. You guys think that would work? So imagine a meteor comes hurtling through right like this. It lands right in the middle. So then we just need a chunk in here. Uh, maybe some coal ore? No, coal blocks. Yeah, I know you can use that as fuel, but that's all right. It doesn't have to be. And we're just gonna have kind of a, a lumpy asteroid no, you know what? I don't want to make this too big because it's going to be a hey, coal, but also, yeah, well, maybe. Is anyone going to think that that's actually an asteroid? It's not really big enough to, or round enough. What if we just left it? What if we do this? And then, see, trying to do a circle or a round shape of any kind in Minecraft here is going to look really strange. Maybe that's okay. Maybe we don't need to do anything with that. We're just going to do call it good with this big hole over here. And then we're going to, let's just put some TNT in the other side. Uh, let's put it right here and light that on fire. Oh, that does weird stuff with the fence posts. Okay. Huh. It blew open the trap doors. That's interesting, too. Okay, so let's close those trap doors. Close that trap door. And I think these look all right. Let's, we'll leave that alone. And then where's that lever again? We'll do the lever. 
Oops, no. There we go. That's what happened. The lever opened the trap doors. Okay, so I think that's going to be all right. It's going to look pretty ruined here. Um, probably need one more up at the top. Let's do that one. Light him up. And that might also screw up the lantern in here. That's all right. Yep. Okay, just the top. That's not so bad. Boom. <laughs> Pun intended. Okay, so I'm liking this so far. Um, probably need to do... Do we need to do anything else? I don't think we do. Let's call that good. I think it's going to be fine the way it is. The one thing we could consider is if we wanted this thing to be on fire when people found it, we could add maybe like lava down here so that the wood would catch and the hay bales would catch and all that good stuff. But then people might wonder, why was the farmer keeping lava in his barn? So, not so sure about that. We could do a trapped chest that has TNT behind it. Hmm. Think anybody would fall for that? Maybe they would. What do we have on this wall back here? We've got, yeah, those last few bricks. If we did them right back here and put TNT in that wall, then if we do a trap chest, actually, you know what? Let's, I'm going to regret that if it doesn't work. Let's, let's do a quick experiment out here. If I put out over here away from everything, if I put this down and I put the TNT behind it, it does open it up. Great. Okay. Just to be sure. So I'll fix that later off camera. But that means we should be able to do this here. And then where's our trapped chest? It's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be a fairly obvious... Well, yeah, that's going to be a very obvious trap. Okay, anyone very foolish will set that off. Uh, we could probably disguise that a little bit better if we wanted to. Maybe have a signal come out from this block. Hmm, can we do that? Let's, let's test again. How much signal does this actually transmit? So if I put one here, would it actually trigger TNT that was hidden from through this block? It does. Excellent. So we're going to be in good shape again with that. Goodbye. All right. That's going to be better. So you can see how often I don't play with TNT. So we're going to put it right down there. We're going to put these back. We're going to put this chest here, and now we're not going to open that chest anymore. And that will be trapped. If anybody goes to open it, it's going to blow up. And it won't be a big deal. It probably won't kill anybody, but it'll blow another hole in here. And that'll be fun. All right, I think I have time to do one more little segment here. Uh, another little ruin. I put down another base plate. And I think what we want to do is something else, like the mine shaft. Some things that people do early on in their games, what is the first thing they do? They start getting resources, they dig out, maybe they build a little house, they get some crops planted. Eventually they get another portal. Odds are they've probably died once or twice. And maybe they've actually tried to get some horses and build a barn. So we're skipping something kind of important, right? Where are they getting all their materials? They need furnaces, and yeah, I know we put one over there. They need furnaces, they need crafting tables, and they need some supplies. And one thing I'd like to do is a little fishing pond shack at some point as well. Um, so here we're going to do a very, very basic shelter. We're actually going to do a dirt house, and I think this is going to be funny. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's see. Let's just do real, real basic shelter. Um, it's going to be 3x3 three three inside, just like that. It's going to have... Uh, what every Minecraft starting house has is going to be a bed. Oops, right there. It's going to have a crafting table. All right, there. It's going to have a furnace. Right there. And it is going to have um, a random assortment of stuff in here. So we are going to be very top of the line with our dirt house here. We're actually going to have windows. Oh my goodness, check that out. Some cool stuff going on right there. And let's just come up here like that. How cool is this? Not very. That's the point. So there's a little dirt house here. And let's get a torch as well. Okay, we've got a torch in our dirt house. And we probably don't even have enough wood for a door yet. So we've just got a gate out front. This is as derpy as it gets. Let's go ahead and bring this all the way across. That's looking a little too bad even for a dirt house. Um, yeah, that's looking a little bit better. So there we go, a little dirt house, it's a pillbox, it's a bunker, and then what we're going to do is we are going to do something even stranger, and we are going to put crops on the roof. Um, how are we going to do that? We're going to need to put a little spot for water back here, maybe? There we go. That's what I would do, right? Just a little dirt back here. Perfect. So we're going to get a bucket of water right up there, and we're going to get a hoe.
And we're not, uh, yeah, let's, can we have ladders? Yeah, we can probably get ladders. We got sticks enough to make a fence gate, so we can do ladders. Um, and we're just gonna throw that right on the side of the house so they can get up here to get to their crops. And what are the only things we've planted up here? Wheat, of course. This person is doing pretty well. They're gonna have a full wheat garden up there at the top. Look at that. And maybe, maybe they even had, let's get rid of those things. Maybe, yeah, let's just take all of that out. I don't think we need that. What do you guys think? No, we don't need that. That is pretty, pretty derpy. Okay, so we've got our little wooden house here. It's got light, it's got a bed, it's got everything they need. That's it. So what are we gonna have with our dirt house? Well, we have to have a treasure room. So a treasure room needs to have some good stuff in it. Um, we are gonna need to have all of our precious treasures, which means we're gonna need some chests. And we're gonna need something to put these chests in. Our precious, precious cobblestone. Where is that cobblestone? Because you don't keep, I mean, you keep yourself in a dirt house, but you keep your valuables in a, in a cobblestone treasure vault. Uh, so we're gonna build that up over here. Let's put in a couple of chests. Uh, there we go. Let's put a couple of chests in there. There we go. A little bit like that. Um, like that. There we go. And may, mm, you know what? I think I want to do this a little bit differently. Let's do it that way. And we're going to do some chests back here too. Oh man, look at that. The height of Minecraft technology. Okay, so we're going to need some light as well. Let's just take that in. Let's save our materials, right? This is a starting, starting vault. Come up like that. And this is going to be funny. If you do see these randomly in your world, it's going to look like somebody that didn't, you know, has never played Minecraft or hasn't played much, just joined. They got on, they made themselves a dirt house, they planted some crops, and then they left and abandoned it, and they never came back. Uh, and that's kind of the goal of this build, is to make it look exactly like that. Uh, let's say that somebody got really creative and they made some cobblestone slabs, and we can cover this whole thing up with that. Oop, stop. There we go. Cobblestone slabs. That's going to be... Oh, man, look at that place. That's so exciting. Now, I think... If we do glowstone, no, not glowstone, that way, 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 what am I thinking? This is a starting place. We need torches. Torches. Um, we're going to put a torch right there and right there. So you have to walk right past all these torches. That's going to be exciting. Look at that. All the materials. And you know what's going to be in here? Dirt. We're going to get lots and lots of dirt in here. So let's just copy some stacks of dirt over here. And this guy is a dirt farmer. So that's what he's going to have in his chest. One in that one. Uh, let's throw some dirt in this one, a couple in there. This one needs a dirt, and that one needs a stack of dirt. Awesome. Yep, yep, that's what he's going to get. And let's go ahead and throw a stack of torches in one of these as well. There you go. So now we've got something that's definitely not worth looting that will generate out in the world and be kind of amusing. Now, what else might we have when we're starting out? We don't, we've got our furnaces. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, some charcoal in there because nobody's going to have coal. Let's put like three charcoal or four charcoal in the furnace. There we go. That's really it. Yeah, look at that, man. This is fantastic. <laughs> I really like that a lot. It's going to be really funny. So we could also do some fancy things, um, pistons and traps and redstone. I don't think we want to do that. I think we want it to be just this derpy. I think that's going to be it. Okay, so if that's the case, we don't really need all of this out front. We're going to take all of this back out. And uh, let's see. Again, I really like your feedback. Thank you guys for giving me comments on the first videos so far. Um, I think this series is going pretty well. I like it. I'm going to do a bunch more of these little mini builds. They're a lot of fun to do, and it seems like you guys are enjoying them so far. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, then please subscribe. And as always, I've been Brickwaffle. Thank you for watching.